I joined the military two weeks after I got out of high school. My grandfather was in the Navy. A number of uncles that were in the Marine Corps. It was a joyous moment. My family threw me a party. Wished me off in a, in a, in a, in a loving fashion uh, of support. My mom was raising three of us by herself. Being the firstborn definitely gave me some discipline at an early age. My mom relied heavily on me and a lot of trials and tribulations at times and a lot of pain, but there was a, a lot of good moments. High school was pretty decent. I was a young, good looking guy. Coming from a family dynamic that didn't have a dad, I found a lot of structure in football. For me, when I joined the military, I was able to get in an environment that was structured and disciplined, which is a little bit different than how it was when we were kids. So I did 12 years, eight months in the Army. Got medically retired, but uh, that's my retirement flag. I loved serving this country. I grew up hearing the stories of service from my grandfather and my uncles, and I felt like it was an obligation to step up and, and be a part of that. One of the things that I loved about the military is the brotherhood and just serving a cause outside yourself. I was a flight medic in Honduras, 21 years old right there. Like a baby. Yeah, yeah. Being a medic, it's rewarding when you know that you've been able to make an impact and, and help somebody out in their time of need. I always knew that I wanted to do something like that. When I was joining the military, I picked my job uh, to complement what I wanted to do in the future. Being a medic is challenging, especially during war. You're trying to provide care to someone who really needs you in some pretty, uh, pretty uh, challenging circumstances. These are uh, my Purple Hearts. I got a Purple Heart on my first tour, and then uh, this one over here was the Purple Heart that put me out of commission and retired me. Kind of sustained a, a lot of injuries. I, it doesn't look like it, but um, I've had pretty much my whole face rebuilt. So it was quite a recovery period. Yeah, God bless. I was about six months into my tour when I got hit with a roadside bomb. I, uh, we we're coming back from a mission and uh, got hit and um, didn't even really know what happened. I got hit in the face and couldn't see and I remember um, pulling my safety glasses, my sunglasses off and, and having all the glass and material embedded into my eye. I was uh, choking on my blood and um, choking on my teeth. That's when I kind of realized in that moment that I may not live. It's, uh, it's been a journey. There's been a lot, of, a lot of lessons on a lot of different levels. Amen. Yeah. This is actually where I got hit in Baghdad. I had the opportunity to go back with an organization called Troops First Foundation with a bunch of wounded guys. So you went back to where this happened? Yeah. It took us right back to the place where we got hurt and kind of let us put some things at rest. Brian also shared with me, aside from his physical injuries, that he has an ongoing battle with PTSD. Post-traumatic stress is a reaction to an event or a series of events that are traumatic. You know, there's all kinds of different triggers. For me, driving is a trigger, loud noises, lots of people in my space. It gets me uh, real uh, anxious, creates some anxiety. I think it's important for people to realize that combat affects more than just the person that goes off and comes home. It absolutely has a trickle down effect into every component of your family dynamic and uh, it absolutely did with me. I was married at the time to a woman who I dearly loved. It's just in that moment of time, I couldn't love her well. And it ended up tearing our marriage apart. And, um, and those, those are a lot of things that people don't see that the family has to learn how to deal with this new person coming back and the pain that they're, they're experiencing. And a lot of times when the individual is experiencing post-traumatic stress, um, it's so traumatic to everybody around them 
that their family mem members are experiencing active traumatic stress. They're being impacted in such a traumatic way from the post-traumatic stress that the individual that they love is having that is creating uh, a traumatization on them.